welcome to another edition of Wista Keepa Wednesdays with me, Keepa Chitan. Coming to you here from Rocky Nook Park in Santa Barbara, California. It's a beautiful sunny day today. I've already been out playing with turtles and playing in the water. And so I'm coming here in this little shady nook in Santa Barbara, a uh, little hidden treasure to bring you some wisdom from the animal kingdom today. Uh, last week I, I spoke of otter medicine and if you didn't catch that you can go um, back into episode two to check that out. We're on episode three now and I'm going to pick a new animal. I'm going to go through the animals for a while here because I think that there's a lot of lessons coming through lately th from the animal kingdom and um, from animal medicine and for those of you that didn't uh, tune in last week when I speak of animal medicine I'm speaking of the energy that they bring to us the likeness in them that we carry as well and the lessons that they teach us in preparedness for what's coming for us and uh, what we can learn from their actions to bring into our world and help us uh, discover our strengths and uh, discover those things that will aid us along the way. I'm sitting here barefoot because I think it's very important to get some grounding in nature and you know it's a really lush green area here where I'm sitting and just to be having your feet connected to the earth in some way is always really important. So I'm going to dive right into the reading and um, and pick a card for this week and this will be the strengths to look for in yourself and what it is that we can learn from this animal. And today's animal is the grouse. And the grouse energy, the grouse medicine is that of sacred spiral. And the sacred spiral, when it comes to the grouse, they fly when they, when they come out of the bush, if they're startled or an animal is after them, they fly in the spiral to confuse their, um, their predators so that they, it's a little harder from them, for them to catch them. And so this spiral has become a symbol of energy, a sp symbol of finding your sacred space, you know, your safety, your, your solace. Uh, when I go up to the mountains, that's my sacred space. That's where my energy is most uh, connected, I want to say, when it comes to nature, you know, when it comes to my connection with nature. And, and often a lot of cultures do a dance that is in a spiral. And there's no mistake to that. You know, there's probably animals all over the world that have this pattern. Um, but it has become something akin to energy. If you ever see the, sh the shape of a spiral, it's either going from the inside, sorry, the outside in or the inside out. So it speaks of the usable energy that we have. And when the grouse is doing this to get away from its predators, what it's doing is creating energy, you know, creating energy as it's going up and up and up. And that sacred spiral is our connection to source. It's our connection to our creator. It's our connection from earth to the heavens, um, to the cosmos, whatever you want to call it. Roots down, rise up. I said it in a, in a different reading earlier today. And it's very important to have as above, so below. So it's important to have your grounding on this earth, connected to the earth, feel your roots going into Mother Earth. And then it's also important to have your cosmic ties as well. So we have these threads, we have these cords that are connected to the cosmos as well. And it's important to have both. So we have that energy circulating through. And it's not just going up and down and up and down. It's it's spinning, you know, it's, it's got this energy. Energy moves in many different ways. And this is one of the, and the ways that energy is generated. It gets it stirred up, it gets it going so that it can connect. And there's also energy that, that moves from the outside of us in through us so that we can cycle it, we can feel it, and we can set it out on its way. And so the, the strength that, that Grouse wants us to learn about is that we have that ability to take in that energy, to breathe in that energy. If you've ever seen grouse, they're also called prairie chickens, I believe. 
and they have this sack. The males have this red sack underneath their throat that blows up like a balloon. And this is to attract the mate. But this is an immense energy. And so I think this, what this is trying to tell us, even though it's in the throat area, I'll hit on two chakras here. Because it's in the throat area, it speaks of expression. It speaks of getting our words out. It speaks of communication and using that in a sacred way. Speak as if you're speaking to God. Speak those words that are going to be useful. Speak those words that are going to uh, uplift not only yourself, yourself first and foremost. You must feed yourself with those words of love first and foremost. <sighs> Use that voice. They have a beautiful call as well. And so it's like using that, it's that inhale as well, that taking in all that air, filling up that balloon in your throat so that you can send it out and transfer it into a new energy, a new way, a new way of being. Um, being as it's red too on the grouse. Now this one doesn't really show it, it shows it on the sides. But I know that in there's certain ones that there's actually the sack down below. Now, being as it's red, this is an indication to uh, check in with your root chakra. And I spoke of roots earlier, of the roots going into the into the earth. But the root chakra is the base of everything, and so making sure you're starting fresh every day, checking in with the self, going through the chakras. If you haven't yet done a practice of chakra clearing talk to me you know send me a message uh, either here on facebook or instagram and we can talk about that we can set up an appointment and do something of clearing energy for you in the chakras but it's very important that you make sure that you're bringing that energy in starting from the root chakra and bringing that bringing using that sacred spiral to generate immense energy. We all have immense energy. We all have so much to tap into. And I, I've said this a few times today and I'm saying it again because I have a different audience here, but it seems to be the theme of the day. So universe is telling us that you have an abundance to tap into. You have a wealth, a well to dip into and it never goes away. And so it's always there for us. Even though we may feel depleted at some times, it never goes away. And the crows are trying to tell me that too. Crows are a symbol of cosmic law. I knew an animal would come up today and kind of add their uh, take on the reading. You know, I'm, I come in here to nature to do that, you know, to, to tap into the animals that are here to give the messages. And crow is one that speaks of cosmic law. It's not man's law, you know, it's cosmic law. It's the order of things. And they're here to tell us that it doesn't go away. They know that. They know that they're provided for. Yes, we still have to search for things. We still have to put effort to it, but it's always there. If we look, if we open our eyes, if we look with one eye and then with the other eye, we're gonna find it squirrels here chirping at us too, which is the gatherer. So go out there and gather that energy. Bring it in and give it out. Bring it in, give it out. You know, love is all about. Energy is all about. And we receive and we give. And we have that ability to constantly, constantly keep that energy going. That sacred spell up and down, in and out, sideways, all around. Whew, I think I'm done. <laughs> Thank you for uh, coming on here today and receiving. Uh, it is all about receiving this week. That's been the big message of the week. So make sure that you're you're feeling that which is coming to you, and and really enjoy the goodness in those things that are coming to you. If they don't serve you, transfer them into something else. Transmute those into something else, and. It'll come back in something that does serve you. If it didn't serve you, maybe it's serving somebody else. Thank you again for coming on today. And I'll be here next week with another edition of Wisdom Keepa Wednesdays. Love and light always and always.